Hello everyone! Welcome to David Furker Sports Photography's first ever vlog. This is going to be a multiple event vlog to kick off the channel here where this weekend in San Diego we are shooting rugby and we are shooting rugby at three different levels. First off we will be heading down to our local field called Rob Field here in Ocean Beach to, to photograph the old Aztec Rugby Club versus Ombak Rugby Club. This is the biggest adult men's league rivalry game here in San Diego and I cannot wait to get some cool images from that game. Shortly after the conclusion of that game we will be heading over to the University of San Diego to take in a college rugby match and this is not just your normal match. This is a national semi-final match. Currently the University of San Diego is ranked number two in the nation in Division 1 AA. And for those that don't know what Division 1 AA college rugby is, the main difference is none of their players are on scholarship because rugby across the United States is not really considered to be a full D1 college funded like sport like football or basketball or baseball would be. We do have a Division 1 and those are scholarship players, but it's still not at the level of an NCAA Division 1 sport here in the United States. So, University of San Diego is ranked number 2 in the nation in Division 1 AA and they will be hosting Western Washington who beat them in the playoffs last year. Should be a massive revenge game for the University of San Diego as they attempt to head to, I believe, their first ever rugby national championship game, which is going to be hosted in Colorado. And because this team is so amazing, and one of the things you guys will learn here about college rugby is that many teams have both 15s and 7s. For those that don't know a whole lot about rugby, there is a 15 player version, which is 15 players, two 40 minute halves. And then there's a sevens, which is seven players, two seven minute halves. That was created to move the sport along practically for the American audience, I like to say. Um, and then on Sunday, we will be taking you guys along to Snapdragon Stadium as the San Diego Legion, six and one in the Western Conference, host one and six Chicago Hounds. That should be an incredible game. That game I am actually photographing for the San Diego Legion and not just myself as I normally am. So I hope you guys are excited to uh, follow me around and watch some rugby here in America's finest city. Now let's get into packing the gear for today's and tomorrow's shoots. We are using a Lopro 500 bag that locks from the back side and is really protected so nobody can get in. So let's open the flap here. I already have my 1DX Mark II with a 7D200, 2.8, already on the, uh, the collar here. I have a third camera body, a 7D Mark II uh, crop just in case I will need one. Um, I have all of these slots here for the uh, 1DX, which is filming this segment. And the 7200 will also go in here. <clears throat> I am a very big proponent of shooting with knee pads. So here are my knee pads. So what I will do here is I will tether tether them to these top clips. This is the monopod section. <clears throat> we'll just do it over here. <clears throat> the knee pads help you get a lower and closer to to the action. I also have this little pouch, which is good for holding things. So let's actually put this together now, since this is a newer bag. 
and show you what I'm going to put in it. First off, I like to keep extra compact flashcards on me because you never know if anything goes bad. So this is a 64 gig, 120 megabytes a second. Put that in here. I like to keep a power bank for my phone. This is also a special battery charger phone case pack that will get me two or three full charges off of here. And then of course, super long cable for the phone. Last but not least, with the Canon 1DX line, in any Canon that has a CF card, there are these readers that you can purchase right here. This is a five in one card reader camera adapter. I have multiple cases of these, and these allow me to pull my photos straight from camera to phone to then send in live time if need be or I will bring the laptop and edit. Today will not be a laptop editing day, but definitely putting two of these into my case. And I have another one here. This one is built for laptop and it's super fast. So we got that in our pouch. Another thing that I always like to bring with me, you never know if you need it, is a tool kit. Here's an example of the high spec kit that I bring on all shoots. Tools, razor blade, pliers, never know when you need this stuff if any of your gear gets stuck, or you need to fix anything. I'm gonna keep that right in here. I like to shoot all of my events with a black rapid double strap. So this will also nicely go into the bag. We're just, I'm just gonna lay this right here for now. Um, another piece of equipment that I always carry in the bag, but I'm not gonna put in here right now is AA batteries, because you never know if you are shooting an event where you need an on-camera flash. That's not gonna be in here. I do have an extra lens cap, lens hood. Keep that in the bag. I always like keeping sunscreen in. So since I'm shooting multiple events in the sun today, we will be putting sunscreen in the bag, which I'm gonna do when I flip it over. Um, last but not least, cell phone blogging selfie stick that I will be using here to uh, create all the videos. So that will place here. And then this is one of my favorite things since I'm shooting in the sun today. These are SPF resistant sun sleeves. So they go straight on your arms. You don't get sunburned. All you gotta do is sunscreen on your hand, sunscreen at the top of the arm where these connect. Really good product. Something that I learned from a AP photographer who I am really good friends with. We are now driving over to Rob Field in Ocean Beach. So we're out here for some on back old Aztec rugby. Got here a little early talking to uh, the Legion photographer and getting ready to shoot the game. So let's, let's have a good shoot and hopefully you guys will see some cool photos. <laughs> So we're sitting here at halftime. On back is absolutely obliterating the old Aztec Rugby Club. Sorry that I don't have a whole lot of video here. Uh, I've been spending a lot of time getting everything prepped, ready to go uh, with my fellow Legion photographer for tomorrow's game. So I've just been shooting a lot. I will have audio to go over these clips so you guys will be able to uh, see images. But so far in the first half, I'm back out big over the old Aztec Rugby Club. So after
after shooting the first game, I was a little bit hungry, went and stopped at my favorite sandwich joint, and now we are back on the road, headed over to the University of San Diego. Everything you fought and struggled and earned is right there for the taking. That's who you all are today. I go to war with each and every one of you, and today's the opportunity to prove yourself to each other that you will go to war for one another. Do not give in. Do not give an inch. Forward, attack. All day, you gentlemen have earned the right to be here. You've earned the right to advance. Everyone in this circle knows it. Now all you gotta do is prove it to everyone out there. We're playing in Colorado. You just gotta prove it for eight minutes, understood? Yeah, you guys are good enough. I know that. I love you all. Don't fucking fight for each other. Let's get this done today. Let's do it! We're going to the ship. 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 So that was a hell of a game out here, University of San Diego, headed to the national championship game. I'm sorry guys, this vlogging thing is a lot harder than I thought. I need to do a lot more to get you guys video of me actually shooting. As you can hear, there's cheering in the background. The University of San Diego baseball team is currently in the middle of a WCC series against Pacific, I believe. And they have been playing copyrighted music the entire time. So any of the audio that I would have recorded would not be good. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of my photos. Next up, Legion Rugby at Snapdragon Stadium. Okay guys, our next part of the journey here is driving from the condo down to Snapdragon Stadium to shoot some San Diego Legion rugby. And this day I was actually photographing for the San Diego Legion and that is something that I hadn't done in quite some time. So I wanted to give you guys a day in the life here and include a lot more video clips, but the day was extremely hectic. It was something new. It was something that I am not used to having to shoot. So unfortunately, I did not record any footage for you guys. This is something that I was debating deleting from this episode and doing San Diego Legion um, as its own episode. That is something that you might see a little bit down the road. But since I did all the introduction, I wanted to give you guys a little glimpse at the photography that you guys would see from three different levels of rugby here in the United States. And I want to walk through a few of the photos here. You know, at the beginning of, of the day, going in, photographing player arrivals, then going out photographing a little bit of the tailgate, photographing the child's, the children's camp that the Legion had on, then running back inside, photographing the entire pregame, then doing um, national anthem stuff, player runouts, and then actually photographing the game. There's a lot of work that goes into being a team photographer, something that people who are shooting on spec or are shooting for their websites don't necessarily normally see. I mean, this game was a 1 p.m. kick. I was at the stadium by 10, 10.30 in the morning just to make sure I was able to capture everything that was needed. And I was not out of there until 5 or 6 p.m. at night just because of all of the different aspects of having to edit photos once the game has ended um, photographing the post-game meal, the post-game hangout between both teams. There's really a lot of different things that come into play that you normally just would not think about. Um, so I want to make sure that I give you guys a full episode of Legion Rugby, and that will happen um, possibly end of May, early June, is the next time I will be able to shoot a game. Um, this coming Sunday, the San Diego Legion are taking on second place Houston 
and I will be unable to photograph that game due to the San Diego Strike Force game. Um, and I am already, as you guys know, under contract with the San Diego Strike Force. So you guys will get a day in the life of the San Diego Strike Force team photographer coming this uh, Sunday is when I will film it and then I will have to do all the editing and, and everything. Um, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this little glimpse. And please do note, I will start giving you guys more video content. Um, I ordered a um, adapter horseshoe mount for the camera so that I can attach my iPhone. So we will be able to take more photos, get more audio, and be able to give you guys more, more detail. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. The next episode will be on the San Diego Wave. All of that has been recorded. I just need to edit it. So that might come out a few days after you guys watch this. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions, comments, please make sure to like and subscribe. And if you like my video, make sure to give it a share. Um, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.